All right, guys, today we're going to take a look at, at SolidWorks Visualize and specifically running the different types of render modes, the CPU only mo mode, the GPU mode, and the hybrid mode. And we're going to do that. We're going to compare all the different render times with this model. We have a uh, AMD Threadripper 3990X, compliments of AMD. Thanks, AMD. Appreciate that. And we're also going to start this comparison off with the uh, RTX A6000. And then I'm going to do another video showcasing the AMD W6800 32 gig RAM model. And that, that way we get a full spectrum comparison. So stay tuned for that video. Now, the goal of this is to time how long it takes each mode to complete the render on this model at the highest resolution render uh, at 3000 passes. So we're going to hit go, wait for it to get to 3000 passes, record the time, and then move on to the next sample here. Now, unfortunately, I am running the renders and my recording software on the same computer. So that is going to slightly skew our results, but I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. But I am running other software in the background too, just kind of soaking up some of those resources. With that said, I think we're ready to get things kicked off here. Let's go ahead and get this render going. Okay, that's finished 3000 out of 3000 with the rendered image on the screen. Looks fantastic. But I noticed that we were about averaging 13 passes a second once it's stabilized. So let's go ahead and change some of our settings now and we'll run this test again. All right, I've changed our CPU now to uh, to be turned on. So this will be hybrid mode. I said uh, it can use 95% of it. It'll leave a couple cores behind for my recording software and Windows. It's always good. And we have the GPU enabled, of course, too. Software has now updated to the hybrid mode, which is utilizing both CPU and GPU. Again, I have my task manager over here on the right hand side, so you can see the CPU usage. And again, this is the 3990X, so you should be able to see all the cores 64 cores, 128 threads, and we have the GPU usage here. So let's go ahead and give this test a go. I'm going to reset the render and we will record the time. And we have completed. Wow, that was pretty quick. Actually, I saw the average of like 17 passes per second, so four pass per second improvement, not bad. I also transitioned back to the GPU here about halfway through, so you could see the CUDA core usage. Still at 90%, despite the fact that we're in hybrid mode. And I saw all 128 cores being utilized at once. So that's very impressive. It didn't ever ping 100%. I saw 75 a lot for whatever reason, but still excellent usage out of all 128 cores here. Okay, we're going to run this, this last test of just the CPU mode, no GPU. Let's go ahead and change those options now. Turning off the GPU and only using 95% of the CPU. We'll click OK. Running in CPU mode only now. We'll go and monitor our CPU and we'll give this thing a go. Start this up. All right, we finished the 3,000 passes with the CPU mode only. I did see a pretty high peak on my CPU percentage threshold. 
And also noticed about a 3.7 average pass rate, pass per second, which kind of makes sense because we looked at the pass rate between the GPU mode uh, and then the uh, hybrid mode. And the difference in that was about 3.5 to 4 passes per second. So when using them together, we saw the benefit of both. And then when using just the CPU mode, we saw just that differential, which totally makes sense. Let's talk about some of the findings here. So generally speaking, we say that uh, in, in, in SOLIDWORKS Visualize, that it's just best to use GPU mode if you have a decent GPU, let's say like an RTX 4000 or better, or like a WX 5500 or better, or 7100 or better, that, you know, that the GPU has the most bang for the buck. And I still think that argument holds true. We're looking at a, you know, roughly a $5,000 GPU and a $4,000 CPU. And for the, for the bang for the buck, as far as passes and render time goes, you know, you get more passes per second with a GPU and, and certainly the price tag of a GPU than you do out of a CPU. Now, granted, four passes per second on this particular model with all the lighting and the resolution with a 128 core CPU at four passes per second is pretty dang good. In fact, most of the time when you look at CPU rendering mode only on say a lesser GPU, like an eight, eight core or 16 core, you know, you're looking at like a fraction of that 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, you know, at best passes per second. So, so all in all the 128 core CPU did a bang of a job rendering this thing out, but it just doesn't compare to the CPU mode or the GPU mode rather. Now what's really cool is that you kind of get the benefit of both here. If you have a really good CPU um, and you have a really good GPU and you pair them together, you do get a little bit more squeeze out of it, but at what cost? The negative side effect here is that when I'm running hybrid mode and my CPU is doing 95% of the work, my GPU is doing 100% of the work, there's not much room for me to do anything else. So, you know, hindsight's 2020. If I was gonna repeat this whole thing again, I wanted to be able to do other things, right, than, than render, I would still probably use GPU mode and then reserve my CPU for sending emails, maybe working on some Excel documents, writing up the technical information for the YouTube videos, um, you know, watch some videos for some self-learning, you know, the, that sort of thing. So um, all in all, some really good findings here and uh, really happy with the performance of the uh, 3990X. Uh, it actually did better than I thought it would. And then of course the hybrid mode, you know, that was awesome. And then the RTX A6000 that does a great job. So stay tuned for my next videos. We'll do another comparison with the 3990X, the W6800 with 32 gigs of RAM, hey, hey, hey. And we'll run both the CPU, the hybrid, and the GPU only. So we get a full spectrum comparison between the two sources of hardware out there. Hey, great. I think, uh, I think we're done today and I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment. Tell me what you think. And yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good one.